Albert? Don't mind me, Albert. I'm gonna <laughs> have the customer sit in front of you. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's a, he's a wacko. He just walked into my place here. And he just randomly talks to me in a semi-fake British accent. So now we have that one completed as well. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Beans, the coffee shop simulator. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. Now, if you know me, I'm a big coffee guy. I've also played plenty of tycoon games in the past. I've also even played coffee shop tycoon games. Literally, one of them was actually called Coffee Shop Tycoon. Really fun game. So when I saw this one over here, I figured we'd check it out because I love coffee, I love tycoons. This is a perfect match made in heaven. Now, this one right here is actually kind of cool because it is not only a coffee shop simulator game where you build yourself up from the ground up to a big giant corporation, but at the same time, there's also a really cool little story involved with it as well. So here is our character, Ruby AC. AC, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, I can't let it end here. Sure, I got fired from the firm, and I have to move back with my mom. Someday, somehow, I'll come back. Let's skip forward. Okay. That's our introduction right there to our character. Now, I believe she's somehow related to the, the big corporation of coffee people here, as we will find out with the story. So here's her mom. Wow, here it is. Just like the letter said, this is so... Exciting. To think that my daughter has a very own business. <sighs> oh, let's get inside. I can't wait. <laughs> you, you liking my mom accent? My little mom voice there? That's my mom voice. Oh, I'm so excited for you, honey. Look, mom. Just because the... I mean, I'm supposed to be a female, but I can't do female voices nonstop. You gotta let me use my voice at some point. Look, Mom, just because the old Toriyama laundry concern was bought and rebuilt into a coffee shop in a week doesn't mean that letter was real. We shouldn't get our hopes... Our hopes what? Our hopes big old limousine. That's like a Cadillac limousine right there, man. Is that the right word? No, no. SUV limousine. Cadillac is limousine. What the hell am I talking about? I don't know anything about cars, man. Here we have Albert Dinos, who's the butler, I believe. We've arrived, miss. About time. I want to get this over with. This hick town is already staining me with its mediocrity. Hi, uh, are you Mr. Coffee Bottom? Ha! <laughs> this peasant can't even tell a coffee bottom from a butler. Worthless. And she's supposed to be a relative of mine? Peasant? I'm sorry, who invited the stuck up brat? That would be Miss Rosalina Coffeebottom, granddaughter of the late Peaberry Coffeebottom. That's right, our family is the wealthiest coffee empire in the world. And don't call me a brat, I'm one year older than you. Isn't that right, Denos? Yes, that's correct. That's why we are Mr. Coffeebottom's will... Will, will was quite specific. His youngest heir will be given a loan in a coffee shop. If they can prove their skills, they will inherit his fortune. So apparently we're going up against this girl here to figure out who's going to get the will of the Coffee Bottom Estate. That's great and all, but um, I don't have any clue how to run a coffee shop. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 Ah, pathetic. I'll be in the limousine. Denos, I don't know what I was so worried about. Stupid peasant doesn't even know how to pour a cup of... Ha 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 Oh, you'll get yours. You brat. Anyway, here we go. Albert. I was instructed to assist you in opening your first restaurant. To start, did you have a name in mind for your restaurant? Well... Beans! Very good, Miss C. Oh, I'm too excited. I'm gonna tell my friends out of the center. Oh, I need to rub it in Aunt Gertrude's smug face. See you later, sweetie. Uh, see you later, Mom. Is my mom, you know, possibly from New York and Jewish, you're asking? It seems to be that way thus far, wouldn't you say? Welcome to your new restaurant, Mrs. C. Thanks. Uh, look, this is strange enough as it is without acting so formal. Please just call me Ruby. Very well, Ruby. Why don't you spend a few minutes getting acquainted? Then we shall, as you say, be on the grind like a baller. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how I talk. I'm not even going to acknowledge that. Okay, let's get to work. What's next? Shouldn't I have some kind of coffee cooker? M maker. Coffee maker. Select the appliances menu. E I'm gonna buy a cash register, a tip jar, a sink, and a coffee pot. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Th thanks a lot, Butler, man. I got it. Appliances. So, we're looking to buy a couple of things here, and we get to deck out our store the way we want to as well. So, let's go over here with the sink to begin with. We have to, obviously, clean dishes on occasion. Place here, like, maybe over here. Looks pretty decent to me. Now we need to get our cash register as well. So, I'm gonna purchase you. And let's see, you should probably be facing me. I don't want the, the register to open up to the to the guests, you know? They might grab the money and run, which wouldn't be a good way to make money. So where do I want this register at? I guess I'll place it down here at the end. Sounds pretty ideal. Got the tip jar. Ah, oh, we want those, baby. We want them tips, too. I'm gonna place that right over here next to the register so people know, like, after you pay, hey, how about you tip me for a job well done? And then we have a coffee pot over here. By the way, tips, I always tip just because I worked in the retail and the food environment growing up. So, like, you know, believe me, it goes a long way. You know, it goes a long way for people who work jobs like that. I worked them and, you know, sometimes I relied on those tips a lot, too. So, plus, you know, you, when you work in those fields, you realize how much people fucking suffer in those jobs. So, you know, just a small tip on occasion just brightens somebody's day. So, I, I do it nowadays every single time. But this is me. I'm not telling you guys to do it, but... If you don't do it, you're probably a scumbag. Just just throwing it out there. <laughs> Alright, let me place some. Where do we want my coffee? Um, cooker, as uh, Ruby likes to call it. I guess we'll place it over here in the corner. Sounds really ideal. This place is a little empty for my taste. Customers will most likely feel the same way. Chairs to sit and tables to set drinks on will help attract more customers. Select the furniture menu now and place a table and chair on the side. Once you've applied something, if you're unhappy with it is, yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. I'm gonna do the voice in the tutorial mode, okay? I'm, I'm skipping it now. Um, cheap wooden table. <laughs> Appeal of zero, huh? Okay. So where do I want my table to be sat at? I guess I'll place it somewhere in a corner. I don't, I don't think I want people next to me while I'm making their coffee. I don't want them to keep an eye on me like what I'm doing. I've worked coffee shops before, mind you, and I really hate it when people would sit there and just stare at me when I'm making the coffee. It's kind of like, no, you know what, man? I, I get paid for this. I know what I'm doing. You know, just, just leave me alone. I don't need you eyeing me. I'm not gonna dip any part of my body in your drink if that's what you're worried about right now. So there we have that. Uh, this place could use some style, though. Yeah, decor menu, right. So now we need a plant of some kind. Now where do we want this bad boy? I'm gonna say like over here, you know, somewhere in the corner. People will make the corner to see a nice little plant over here that'll look happy. Great. You can also temporarily but significantly increase your appeal by hosting events later on. Try to time. Try to time with rush hour to get the most out of them. One last thing, before the customer starts coming in, you need to create a menu. What recipes you can learn is determined by the appliances you own. You can experiment more later on. You can also research for black coffee. So, in order to create our menu is actually really cool. Based on the items you have, you drag them over to research. You pay a little bit and then you'll get something for it. For, you know, the ones later on. The ones you start off with over here will be free. So, obviously from a coffee pot, what do we get? Well, we get... What? Oh, I added it twice. My bad. <laughs> I got a best effigy. No, that's not what we're looking for. We're just looking for one coffee. There you go. From a coffee pot or from a coffee maker, you get regular coffee. So we have now coffee in our menu, which will be indicated right here. Now, if you look at our menu, if I go ahead and put the sink in the recipe, we might get something new. So sink over here as well. And we have tap water as well. And let me tell you, we actually charge for the tap water here. We go all out. Great job! For this tutorial, I'll tell you how to make each recipe. Simply click on... Yeah, yeah, I, I figured that out, Albert. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. Customers have their own favorite drinks, right? I could check, I could click on them, they'll give me information about them. Albert, I just want to play the game now, if you don't mind. So, for instance, over here, uh, this is one knock in the game. Let me save really quickly. One knock in the game, there's no speed up function, there's no... There's not even a pause option. So the game's constantly running, you can't speed it up, you can't slow it down. That's a big knock. I don't like that too much, especially for a simulator game, but hey, that's just me. Um, okay, so... Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Albert, I lost my train of thought and now I, I forgot what we're supposed to be doing. Wait for customers. Oh, there you go, right. Well, that's what I meant. Now we have to wait for customers to show up. What I could do is actually start putting up some decor to actually attract customers as well. However, if we don't have the drinks in store, they'll be very really unhappy. And if you click on them, it'll tell you like what their thoughts are at the moment and what their favorites are in terms of decor, in terms of drinks and stuff like that. We have you over here. You, you like fridges, apparently. What about you? Are you coming over? Who's coming over to the goddamn shop? I've been open an entire day now. I <laughs> haven't made one single sale. Here we go. We got W. Schmidt, who happens to be a video game developer. He wants coffee. He got a coffee. Did you tip me, dog? Didn't tip me at all. 
Albert, you didn't tip me. What's up? Great, you made the sale. If you want to get an idea of what a customer's thinking, I, I, I already know about that, dude. Here we go, second customer. And he wants some coffee too, does he? Excellent. He's not hanging out, though. Did he tip? Oh, he tipped. Yo, video game developer, how about you tip next time, huh? Aha, you received the tip. Has the happy customers tip more? Keep customers happy by keeping life short and providing lots of seating. Customers will also give you a huge tip if you make their favorite item. Click to collect the tip. Oh, I already collected it, my friend. I wasn't waiting around. Okay, so now we have a little bit of money. It is time for us to probably buy a couple more items. So, Schmidt, have a nice day, you, you non-tipping scumbag. Uh, let's go over to appliances here. And let's go ahead and buy the espresso machine. I'll put that right next to our coffee maker. And let's also get the pour-over brewer. This will be for teas, if I'm correct. And we're down to $73 dues, which is all right. But before we go even further with buying some more things, let's actually go ahead and look at my menu. If we could do the espresso machine, espresso machine and sink, pour over brewer and espresso machine and pour over brewer, we get a couple more items for the menu. So let's start off with the easy one. We have now black tea available. And this will give us the old espresso. And if we do espresso, we mentioned along with this guy, we will get chai tea. Really, really good drink. And if we also do you along with the sink, come along with the Americano. I'm a big Americano fan, man. That's my drink. I especially love the ones, just the cold ones over ice. Give me a couple of espresso shots over ice and I am golden. Okay, so there we have our menu now a little bit decked out. Now the problem is our appeal is so low so people aren't coming in. So we have to pimp our location out a little bit here. So this is kind of like the easiest way to do it, I would say. Because it gives you five for five dollar reduce. So let me do another plant. Uh... This just seems like way too many plants here in one location. Albert, can you move out the way, dog? Uh, you know, in the corner's fine. That'll do. So that'll give us up to 30. Oh, I got tipped again. Cool. Let me get another one for five. It's okay. Eventually, we'll get rid of them. Right now, I just want some cheap appeal to get people to come in and give me some of their sweet, delicious money. So, there we go. Can you... Do you mind sitting next to that stranger? You do. You don't mind, actually. Good. Speaking of which, we probably need some more furniture for the future. Um, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a... Ooh. Appeal 5 costs us $10. I think that's pretty cool. We'll place that, like... Can I rotate you? Oh, I can't rotate you? Oh, that's a bummer. Fine. We'll place you right over here for now. That's my tip, lady. Don't you dare grab my tip that that person left for me. Alright, so we're at appeal of 40 now. Let's see. Let's add a bit more if we can. We have the New Age Art Display. $20 for tw uh, 20 appeal. That's not too bad. Uh, let me purchase you. And let's see. We'll probably place some art over the little sofa here. We're up to appeal of 60. Let me do one more if we can. The chalkboard menu sounds pretty good for me. $20 for 20 more appeal. And I'll place that over here. So now people can come in, see the menu, see what they want to order, and we're fine. Now, mind you, I am broke now. So I'm, I'm really hoping that people come in, just based on the appeal. Can you guys come in, please? There we go. Who, who are you, my friend? You are G. Crandall. He's looking for an Americano. Yeah, there you go, buddy. So I've collected the tips here this far. Oh, that's mine. Give me that. We're up to $30. I think we might be able to get one more appliance now. We have the blender, the syrup dispenser. I think the dairy cooler might allow us to make lattes pretty soon, so we might want to pick that up. The composter is actually really, really um, popular with the hipsters, so that could be a good one too. New electrified rims keep hipster dumpster divers out. Hipster, mulch, hipster mulcher sold separately, right? We have the fridge as well too. No, let me go with the, the dairy cooler. I'm gonna say, so we could actually get some lattes here at some point. Now I'm running out of space here a bit, which is kind of a bit of a problem. I might move you here. Oh, I'm gonna get a little swamped here, Albert. How about letting me a hand behind the counter? This is your test, Ruby. I cannot help you directly. Instead, I suggest hiring an employee to work for you. For now, they are friends and family, so they will not charge you. They will not always be the case. Employees, huh? I always knew I was management material. I have to make a post about this later. I have an old boss who told me I'd never be responsible for anything more complicated than an inclined plane. Funny thing was that we didn't even work at the airport. Oh, yeah. That's funny, all right. Okay, so let, let me go back to moving my stuff around here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put the dairy cooler over here on the edge. And then you here. You here. 
And here you here for now. Okay, that works out. So, um, we just sold him water. <laughs> $2 tap water, huh? That's amazing. So we're at $21 reduced. Consider hiring employees. Let's go over here and hire Jacob Proctor, who happens to be an old flame from college, huh? Okay. We'll hire him to work for free. How nice. We have Uncle Ron. Your crazy Uncle Ron who lives in that weird trailer. Really hates the government and cilantro. There we go. Oh, we got Mom working for us, too. Dear old Mom. Moves a little slowly and likes you to talk to customers, but won't charge you much. There you go. So we've hired everybody we can. We have my entire family now running this shop. Excellent. Now our money's starting to pile up a little bit, too. Pretty good. We should probably get some more places for people to sit down, huh? Let me get some more furniture here. Um, a wood end table. Yeah, well, I guess we'll probably do this one. And... We'll have you somewhere over here. I'm gonna have the nice tables removed from the shitty ones, apparently. Um, I'm segregating my own store, what can I say? Okay, so that's there. A wooden chair would be $7 each. Let's do it. It'll give me some more appeal as well. So... Boom. And... Boom. Oh, for a second I doesn't even fit. Ooh, we were, we, we were able to sell a favorite drink, which gives you a lot more money. I'm not even sure how that even happens. Like, do you ever go to a store? Like, do you ever go to, like, say, I don't know, let's use a McDonald's, for example. You go to McDonald's and you're a big fan of Big Macs, and you order a Big Mac and they have it in the menu, so you're like, Oh my god, you have that Big Mac? Let me go ahead and pay you five times the amount of that Big Mac, because I'm so happy you have it in stock. It's just so silly, but hey. Alright, so I got money now. We're up to $75. Pretty good customer appeal. What's happening here? Oh no! A customer had a complaint. When you see angry faces, make sure you to quickly click the customer and address their concerns. Who was that? Who left a bad- oh, was, was it you? Um, there's nowhere to sit. What do you mean? I press? There's- there's seats right here. Hey. Excuse me. That was great, I'm heading home. So- No, but there's places to sit. Yo, man. Uh, I'm getting swindled here. I'm being sabotaged by my competition. Is it just me or does Uncle Ron have a really lazy eye? <laughs> Look at that eye, it's just all over the place over here, huh? Yeah, this is a regular eye, this is a lazy one right here. I'm sorry, Uncle Ron, about your troubles there. Okay, so that guy's sitting down over here. They should be able to sit down, I'm not sure what that lady's problem was. Oh, we have online farming. I don't think I could add any more registers, so only one person can do the registers if I'm right. This is actually furniture appliances. No, only one at a time, huh? Well, let's actually pick up a couple more new items then. For instance, I think we should probably go with that fridge now. The built-up layer of frost at the bottom keeps claiming it's alive and is here to spread Christmas cheer. Okay, we'll have the fridge. Obviously not on a table, that would make any sense. Now, is there anything else that we could research here meanwhile? Oh my god. Having a bit of a rush time here, which is pretty good. It's good for business. Oh my god, we have a lot of mixtures here. So, pour over brewer. Wait, did we not do that one already? Fridge. Fridge and... Fridge? Fridge and sink. Oh, there's two for the fridge? Okay, so, hold up. We got the can of soda. Do we do it again or what? Yeah, sandwich too. Sweet. Now, what is this one? Fridge and sink. Okay. Sink over here, research. We got bottles of water as well. Apparently, we're in charge of our own water. We bottle it up and everything. That's our... This is our tap water center right here. Which we're selling for a lot more money now it's in the bottle. Pour over brewer and dairy cooler. Um, dairy cooler and pour over brewer. Tea with milk. Very sophisticated. I don't think I've ever had tea with milk once in my life. Fridge and espresso. Let's see. Uh, boom. Anybody does that? Milk with tea? I never had that once in my life. Is it more of a British thing? No, it can't be, right? I'm pretty sure you don't have to be British for that. Alright, so we got the lattes now. Excellent. What is this? We have the espresso machine and the dairy cooler. Boom. Boom. Cappuccino, baby. All right. What else? Last one. We have coffee pot and dairy cooler. So, boom. Where's my coffee pot at? And boom. Coffee with milk. That would make sense. Excellent. All right. So, we have our menu pretty decked out over here. Let me get my money. Has anybody been stealing my tips? Don't steal my tips, man. Those are mine. Uh, what's, what is it, Albert? By the beans of Sintundara, you've achieved one of the goals I set out for you. Excellent. You can review what those are in the progress tab. Once you've completed all the goals, good things will happen. Let us continue working together to reach them all. Where is this, um, 
Oh, progress app right here. Okay. So we have research a cappuccino. We have to earn $1,000, which we're on our way. We have to host an event, serve 150 customers, and reach 100... Oh, we could actually do the appeal really easy. We're like five away from it. So if anything, we should probably do, I would say, a couple more furniture for people to sit down. Maybe even another sofa would be pretty cool. Plastic bench. Eh, can I rotate you? Like, if I could rotate you, that'd be pretty cool. No, I can't. See, it seems like still out of place right here. Can I place you outside? I want some coffee tables outside. How about that? Albert? Don't mind me, Albert. I'm gonna... <laughs> have the customer sit in front of you. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's a, he's a wacko. He just walked into my place here. And he just randomly talks to me in a semi-fake British accent. So now we have that one completed as well. Very cool. Oh my god, we're getting flooded here. Get my money. Give me my money, man. Okay. Appliances. We have the display case. New grease trap collects fluids from palm prints to recycle into organic cooking oil. Hardy har har. Um, let's have the display case like over... I can't rotate you either. No. Okay, I'm gonna have you right here then. So people can wait in line and see what we have available for the pastries and then they'll be like, oh, you know what? I do want a donut after all. Now, research. Um, probably added a bunch of new things in it. No, only two of them. Display case and the display case along with the dairy cooler. So, come along with me. Donuts! Oh, baby, you're damn right. And some scones as well. Very cool. Man, we're growing over here. Give me that tip. Albert, were you trying to, like, you know, pickpocket that change? That was for me, dog. It wasn't for you. Get this over here, too. Alrighty. Decors. Let's see, what else is there available here? A stack of shipping crates adds appeal? <laughs> I don't know about that. A broken stanny lamp. Oh, it's very hipster-like, wouldn't it be? Yeah, it's pretty actually cool. Let me let me get that. Let me get that for a hip peel alone. People like stuff like that, you know? Or is that have to go outside or what? Yo, dog? Yo, man? Oh, somewhere in the middle? Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. Can you hang out over here in the corner? No? Okay. I gotta find a really good place for you, man. I'm very picky about where I place my items. Okay, let me... Slowly, you know, right there? Okay, you wanna go there? That's fine. It seems like you're waiting for the bus, though. <laughs> Next to a broken headlamp. <laughs> Whatever. As long as I'm making money out of it, it's all mine. Cool. Well, there you guys have it. This is gonna be um, Beans, the coffee shop collector. As I mentioned right now, we have to finish up our progress so that we actually unlock the next progression of the game over here. But it's a really fun game thus far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more on the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up and we shall do so. Otherwise, all the information for the game will be down below if you want to pick it up. As I mentioned, it's a really cool little coffee shop simulator, but at the same time, there's a story involved, which we haven't seen a lot of it just yet, but believe me, it's there. I will catch you next time.